When I was in middle school, all my friends were really into Gary's Mod, and uh, I never really got it. I mean, I thought it was kind of cool. I think the most I ever did was like load up GM flat grass and just shoot a bunch of guys that I spawned in. But last year, I actually played it again. For whatever reason, I booted up Gmod again, and I noticed the add-ons section. I ended up downloading a bunch of maps that other people had made, and I kind of started this phase where I was just obsessed with uh, finding cool Gmod maps and exploring around them. So today I just wanted to show you sort of one of my little hobbies that uh, emerged last year, and I'll show you uh, some of my more favorite maps. The kind of maps that I like the most are just sort of like places to explore. They're not necessarily games, they're just like cool environments that you walk around in, and they're some of them are really atmospheric and cool. So here is one of my favorite ones. This is the pool rooms made by Egg Lord. And uh, the pool rooms, as a lot of you probably know, it's kind of like the back rooms. It's like a different version of the back rooms back when all that stuff was getting popular. And uh, the back rooms are kind of like creepy, you know, but I always found the pool rooms were more just like sort of tranquil. I didn't find them as scary. There's something about like a, like an, indoor hotel pool with this this soft light streaming in that's sort of relaxing for some reason i can't see though how people find this weird or unsettling i mean the whole like liminal spaces thing is all about just like weird weird structures weird rooms that don't really make any sense and sort of make you feel uncomfortable but i remember always loving anything that's like like pools of water or especially like flooded places, like places that, that normally aren't filled with water, but are for whatever reason. That for some reason always fascinated me as a kid. A little bit spooky, but also just something really alluring about it. And uh, this gives me very much the same feeling. I kind of enjoy just walking through here. It's very cool. I used to have this, uh, this fantasy when I was a kid of like our house being flooded and I would just get to like explore all the rooms of our house which I'm normally used to but now I'm just like swimming through them so it's like totally transformed okay this room this room is fantastic so you have this big like this little uh, room in the middle chamber I don't know what you want to call it but then inside of this room there's like another pool so it's like this inception thing oh my gosh I can't crouch jump I can't. So you're like, you're inside of a room, like inside of another room. And then in here, there's just like this pool that just goes like straight down. And uh, I mean, this is amazing. I don't know why, but this particular sort of thing is really weirdly alluring to me. And kind of freaky too. It reminds me of, there's this part in uh, Twilight Princess, the Zelda game where in the water temple to, to get to the boss you have to go to this sort of it's like the same thing almost it's it's this room in the middle of the temple and to go in to the boss room you have to just like fall down this hole which leads you to this little pool of water and you have to swim down into this huge chasm filled with water it always like freaked me out as a kid but also it was there was something awesome about it i also used to have this dream where uh, there was like a temple, like an, a, an abandoned temple or something that I wanted to explore. But the only way to enter was like this little narrow, like well sort sort of thing, just like a a, a passage going straight down uh, into the into the earth. But the whole thing was flooded. So to get into the temple, you had to just just take like a, a dive of faith and go head first into this this chasm, and you didn't know how far it went, but you just had to you just had to trust and go right in right down into the into the dark water now I know for some people this is kind of creepy for the most part I don't really find this creepy uh, but there is one room that really kind of freaks me out uh, it's not this room even though this room is kind of dark and weird uh, but you go over here there's this little like crawl space like you can't get in here normally so you have to crouch down just like crouch under this thing now you're in here and if you go this way there's just this room, and and for some reason, something about this way, the way this room just looms at you, uh, 
Yeah, I really, I really don't like this. I'm just, my brain is like, nope, 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 not going in there. Like, Gmod is, I, I feel like it's a perfect place for these sort of uh, liminal space maps. It has, a, you know, it has a very similar uh, effect to Minecraft. You know, I, I've, I've talked about before, like, the, the creepiness factor in Minecraft, how for some reason this game is not really supposed to be creepy, but you just get this weird feeling sometimes. It's sort of the same way with Gmod, and I've heard a lot of people say that. I think it's just like any game where you're just, you're walking around like a big space, like there's a big virtual space, but you're kind of just alone, like there's not really any NPCs. I feel like any game like that could potentially have that feeling. So let's move on to another map, uh, definitely inspired by the liminal space sort of craze. So this is Laces from Your Dreams, made by Creeper Nader 152 So this map, this is actually the first map I downloaded. This is just this huge, crazy, awesome map. It's filled with all these surreal places, or uh, liminal spaces as the kids say nowadays. And uh, I very much enjoy the, the the premise, the name, Places From Your Dreams, because I, I love dreams. I've always been fascinated by them. Uh, for like the three people who watched my Lucid Dream video, you, you already probably know that. So this map really speaks to my soul. I, I, I really love exploring just surreal spaces like this. And uh, this is really what made me fall in love with the whole Gmon thing. The map is massive. There are so many different like ways you can go. Every room you go in, there's like several different exits you can take, and they each take you to a different place. It's really crazy. So you can really, oh Jesus, this place. <laughs> you can really just sort of get lost in this map forever. Sometimes you need to be a little brave to uh, go through it though. But uh, as far as I can tell, there's no like, there's no monsters here. There's no jump scares. There are a few creepy parts, which uh, I'll try to show you later on. Uh, there's also a lot of ambience. I don't know how, how well you're going to hear it on your end, but some of the sort of soundscapes in this in this map are... Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's scary. I don't like that. <laughs> like I was saying, some of the soundscapes are uh, very well done, uh, to put it one way. And it's just, yeah, it's literally just like this endless collection of, of these weird rooms like no no theme or, or style is uh, is kept for more than like maybe three rooms very quickly just changes much like a dream you know dreams the the setting of a dream can change very quickly so I appreciate that about this map here's a dead end okay it seems like this speaker's just I'll have weird noises, creepy noises. I don't remember that actually, that's kind of freaky. Jesus, I shouldn't have recorded this video alone at night. That's not creepy. Ooh, this room. For some reason, this is my favorite room in this whole map. It's hard to explain why, but it just, it's very cool to me. Uh, it feels like I'm in like an old mansion or something and I don't know. It feels it feels liminal in like the the actual sense in that it's it's a place in transition. Like these all these tarps over everything make it seem like I don't know, like someone's moving in or moving out. I don't know. I I remember just really liking this room when I first found it. It's a shame there isn't more like it. Obviously, this map is also uh as you can probably tell, a little bit of sort of backrooms-esque inspiration i'm sure this was made around the same time like all that stuff was popular i mean obviously it still is popular i wouldn't be surprised if this was made really recently like weird rooms like this like a bunch of chairs just facing a wall that's so that's so like dreamlike and and liminal space i i don't want to overuse the term liminal space but i mean that's that's one of the best ways i can do it nowadays surreal maybe it's also a little little toilet over here this, okay, this, this toilet actually, this is going to sound weird, but this actually looks like a, a somewhere I saw in a dream very vaguely long ago. Oh, this thing is great. Oh, fuck. You hear that? <laughs> I don't know if, if, if you guys are going to hear that. You might have to turn up the volume, but, uh, 
yeah, there's a little, little sound effects in here. The map author definitely uh, wanted to instill a bit of creepiness. Uh, that's definitely intentional. All right, well, let's go. Don't die. Okay, cool. This is a weird room. I don't remember this one. Carpet Hills. <laughs> it's actually somewhere over here. There's like mattresses and little like sleeping spaces. Like, like people have been camping out inside this map. It's very odd. Oh dear god. This room again. <laughs> it looks like the room from the pool rooms. I'm not going in there. I swear, they should have called this map Places from Your Nightmares. Ugh. This doesn't look good. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to go through this room. <laughs> go over here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh fudge. I see I've been in this room so many times, but it always gets me every time. God, if there's any like scariest part in this map, it's this. I mean just imagine imagine running through this map for, for like an hour and you just come in this room and see something running at you. <laughs> this room though, it actually it reminds me of a real place. Uh at my grandpa's old house. There was a room like this. And it was it used to be a bedroom, but in later years, it was just empty, except for this big wall mirror, and there was like a single couch, like a little love seat. And uh, even this was before like all the backroom stuff, but I, I even then, you know, I had a sense of like this is like a weird, surreal room. There's a little spooky Easter egg, another sort of sound effect thing. Yeah, if you walk by that vent, it makes that creepy breathing sound. I remember being freaked out when, I, when that first happened. But yeah, that's basically Places From Your Dreams. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the whole entire map because it's so huge. If you want to see it for yourself, you really should uh, get it. It's really, really cool. Very, very well done. But now I think uh, I'd like to move on to the next map. So this is Macy State Psychiatric Center. And this is quite possibly my favorite map that I've ever explored on Gmod. The really cool thing about this map is that it's not really... It's not like video gamey. And what I mean is that it's made to be really realistic. The map creator actually explained that he wanted this place to be sort of a more like realistic... Uh, Place, and even said that it's it's based on his own experiences with urban exploration. So there's no like there's no like lights that are on inside because of course it's abandoned. It's very sort of logical the way everything is laid out. There's even a whole this place isn't real like it's not based off of real exact location, but there's even a whole like fake history that the that the maker put in the description. And uh, even some like urban legends that popped up uh, after this place got abandoned. And I think that's so, so cool. Now this map really scratches an itch for me uh, because I've always been fascinated with urban exploration. I thought it's the coolest thing ever, but uh, I can't really do it because the area I live in, there's like no abandoned buildings. The, my, my problem is that my, my area is too nice. So I can't find any like good places to explore, but man, it's always been a dream of mine and this map just totally scratches that itch. Funnily enough, uh, I didn't mention the maker of this map yet. When I was looking through this map and just sort of reading about it, uh, someone mentioned in the comments like, oh, like I like this guy's YouTube channel. I was like, oh, so the map maker has a YouTube channel. And uh, I clicked on his name and turns out he's the librarian. So yeah, I'm sure a lot of you already know the librarian is a pretty big YouTuber. He's done a lot of a lot of like horror games, a lot of like Gmod actually, like horror and creepy maps in Gmod. So he made this map so so cool. He's done such a good job. He actually made a whole video on this map, but I didn't watch it because I didn't want to spoil anything for myself. He goes into detail about everything on the map. 
Okay, let's actually get into it. Because this is maybe one of my favorite parts of the map. It's just finding a way into the building. Because see, there's no clear way in. If you try to just like go in through the front door, it's totally blocked. You, you can't go in. None of these windows are open. Like these are all boarded up. There's no easy way in that's like readily available. Also, yeah, I have these li small graphical glitches here. I think it's because like I don't have like Counter-Strike or something, but there's nothing too big. Hopefully that doesn't bother you guys. But yeah, just I loved how this map starts. It It's like it, a real adventure because you have to actually look around and find a way in. And it, they're pretty well hidden. I had a ton of fun looking for them. If you want to try to look for the entrances yourself, uh, like download and play this map, I recommend you skip to the timestamp I'm going to put on screen because I'm about to show all the ways you can get in. Or at least all the ways I know of to get in. Uh, there's probably more ways, but uh, here's the things that I found out. So this is the easiest one. This is just like, if you go right here over to the side, uh, it's it's hidden, so you won't see it at first, but once you find it, it's very easy to just jump up here and you go right through this little vine enclosed doorway and you're in. How cool is that? So cool. Now, another way, uh, this is probably actually my favorite way. If you go into these woods, there's this little sort of shed out here and it's locked. Like there's, there's no way to get in here at first. Uh, but if you look in, you'll notice it looks like there's like a, like a little hatch in there. So I thought, okay, for sure, there has to be a way to get in here. And then I found out, oh, this window doesn't have bars. It's just covered by vines. So if you hop in here carefully, you make your way in. And climbing down this ladder will actually take you down to uh, the sort of basement level of the of the center. I love this room. Very, very creepy. Uh, but we'll, we'll come back here later. Now, the third way to get in here, you kind of have to come around to the back again. And... I think really the only way is getting on top of these porta potties right here. And if you just sprint and then do a crouch jump, okay, I messed up there. If you sprint and jump and do a crouch jump perfectly, you can end up in this little backyard area, this overgrown backyard area. And how cool is this? There's actually a gnome around here, a little gazebo with a gnome. Is it here? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love gnomes. I remember I read in one of the comments that there was a gnome uh, that I didn't find like my first time playing this so I was like, oh I have to find the gnome. And then go over here, it'll take you around to the back. Again it's kind of, you have to look around a little, there's no easy way in, you can't open these doors. If you come over here, uh, yeah right here, it's actually a way in, how awesome is that? As we come in we find this room and there's something beautiful about this room, uh, there really is. I, it's very hard for me to articulate, but the best way I can say is that something sort of, uh, there's like a nostalgic sense or like a homesickness I get when I see these windows right here. I don't know, it brings me back to like earlier years. I used to have this recurring dream as a kid where there was like a school, kind of like this. Uh, this isn't a school, but... It was, you know, one of those old style schools that's like a brick and mortar building, right? Like a big physical building. And uh, it was in the middle of a forest. And for some reason, it was just like so nice and nostalgic. And for some reason, this room reminds me of that. I think that's why I like it. But now that we're actually in, uh, there is so much to explore here. The place is very big. And the map maker claims there's, there's nowhere that's inaccessible. So uh, I, I believe that. I've been around here many times. And it seems like you can always find a way into basically any room. This room's kind of cool because if you go up here, you can kind of hop here. Uh, almost, yeah. And get onto the roof here. <laughs> Actually, we can just go right in here if we wanted to. Yeah, might as well. Let's start with maybe the upper floors first. Again, notice... Uh, this is very sort of a realistic place, I feel. More realistic, at least. Because the only light you're going to get in here is win uh, rooms that have windows, right? If there's any room, like, in the inner parts that 
just doesn't really have a window or a good a good window it's not going to be lit up right that's that's how it works you know there's not going to be lamps lit in a in an abandoned building and uh, that's how you know that's how urban exploration is you've got to go into these dark buildings and obviously it's scary but there's something that really fascinates me about that look at this broken area around here and there's this big hole here from the roof all the way down a few levels Very strange little pill guys here <laughs> there's some there's a lot of fun easter eggs in this map like a lot that i've found there's probably a few i haven't found even old matt here who knows someone probably tried spending the night here some some uh some guy on a dare people actually do that in abandoned places sometimes Ooh, uh we'll go up these stairs in a minute but i always thought this was funny free candy uh and if you go in here oh little mannequin <laughs> so that's kind of spooky but guess what they did not lie because if you go over here there's actually free candy i love that that's so fun go up here up a few floors you get here she's up there that's a little bit ominous but i promise you it's not that scary this actually takes you up to the attic and uh in here that's uh, this little room where you have this lovely lady standing here next to the piano and uh that's basically all that's up here at least that's what it appears like at first but we'll come back here in a second you can see the elevators here uh, it looks like the elevators got stopped and the doors were like partially open very cool Oh yeah, this, I, I always thought this was kind of creepy, like what, why is there a mattress with a weird old photograph on it? <laughs> I don't like this room. I think this room, actually we can go right to the, the top here. Yep. You make that jump, you can just go right up to the roof here. Just run around. Not much up here, but uh, it's kind of cool. Get a good view of the map. I don't think I ever encountered that Easter egg before. I didn't. I never remember hearing a person coughing. That's definitely a little Easter egg. There's a few little sound Easter eggs uh, thrown around here. There's technically no like jump scares or monsters or anything, which I very much appreciate that because that would be horrifying. But there are a few, uh, definitely a few creepy Easter eggs that seems like he couldn't resist putting in. And honestly, I don't blame him. I'm trying to find the stairs now few rooms downstairs that I want to show off. Here it is. Stairwells. The stairwells are rather creepy with these old iron bars. Not a huge fan. All these chairs in a circle. That's not ominous. I think the cool thing about this is that because, you know, it has the pretense of being more realistic, it's it, somehow it's creepier. You know, the liminal space ones, those are, those are made to be like not nonsensical you know those are made to be sort of freaky but this one is is supposed to be you know i almost i suspend my disbelief for a minute and i think i'm actually exploring an abandoned place so anything spooky that happens is, is suddenly much more scary at the same time though i just i love this map i i really really do okay, we're actually on the first floor now i think there's a couple things of note in here the windows are all boarded up on the first floor, so no natural light gets in. Like, look at this. You're you're completely in the dark, which is more or less how it would be in real life. Old library thingy, or office, with uh, some orange Fanta. <laughs> Not sure why these why these chairs are like hooked onto this rebar here, but it's a, it's a little creepy. Not gonna lie. Oh, this is great. So this is the library room, or what I assume was once the library. And if you go over here, there's a pentagram. Yay! This is actually a real thing, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's like actual witch covens or if it's just teenagers trying to be edgy, but people do like draw pentagrams and stuff in abandoned buildings or like they write, you know, Hail Satan, stuff like that. So that's, it's still pretty realistic, honestly, in a way. 
Okay, I think we can go ahead and start moving down to the basement now. Get how... Oh, there it is. There we go. So yeah, obviously this is probably one of the spookiest parts, but I also like it a lot. So in this area, if you go over here, also it's just spaces down in the basement. But you can come down here, and this is the tunnel. This is actually the tunnel uh, that you'll come in from if you decided to enter from the sort of uh, shed in the woods. And there's something a little spooky in this tunnel. I'll just try to show it to you. Well, first of all, there's a baby doll down here. That's uh, kind of terrifying. But also... Okay. <laughs> I've been walking back and forth in this tunnel for ages trying to trigger this this Easter egg, but it's it seems like it's very, very rare because I'm just not getting it. But I swear to God, there is a, a sound Easter egg where if you walk down this tunnel, there's a small chance that you'll hear something. Um, and I can't remember if it's like a baby laughing or like a man breathing or crying or something. It's something like that. And I, I swear to God, it's actually in here. Because the first time ever that I played this map, I got it to trigger. Just without even knowing it was there. I just walked down this tunnel and it triggered the first time. And I've never heard it since then. Uh, but, but I swear it's in here. It's not just me being crazy. Alright, one last Easter egg. And I think we can call it a day for this map. So if you remember, I was saying that there's some sort of like made up urban legends about this map, which was a very cool touch, but they're more than just something to read. One of them actually is a hint towards a, an Easter egg. It's a very, very uh, sort of hidden thing. But with the help of some comments, uh, I was able to actually figure it out for myself. So basically, one of the legends is that uh, there was a worker here who lost his arm down here in the basement and his ghost haunts the building looking for his arm ever since then so if you look around here long enough hello creepy mannequin at first i actually thought this would be part of it uh right because it's the male mannequin missing both of its arms but sadly for some reason that's not it so that's kind of just a red herring but if you go into this weird room look around there is actually wait, am i in the wrong room <laughs> wait hold on i literally just found this the other day okay it is the other room uh it, never mind okay yeah so this is actually the correct room so if you look closely you can find this disembodied mannequin arm now, do you remember in the attic, there was a mannequin woman, and there was a single arm on the piano. So, we have one out of uh, the two arms, we just gotta bring this arm up there. I know it's super, like, it's a super obscure Easter egg, but you can kind of piece together some pieces, I guess. I mean, obviously someone figured it out, because I read their comment, and that's how I figured it out. Now we just bring our arm back up to the attic and place it gently next to the piano. Yep. Nothing too scary, but you do get this little uh, piano music, a personal piano concert. I think that's a really cool Easter egg. And it actually ties together two of the urban legends. One of them is about the guy who lost his arm in the in the tunnels. But the other one is that when people approached the place, they would hear soft piano music from inside. But no one would be inside playing the piano when they actually uh, went in. Something to that effect. So yeah, I just thought that was really cool. It's it took me way too long to find that out, but I was so happy when I did. So that's two out of the three urban legends. There's actually a third one about like a crazy guy who lives in the woods 
And I thought since those two had something connected to them that this one would have something to it. I've ran around these woods forever uh, trying to look for something and uh, I can't really find it. Uh, I mean, they're not that big, but there are a lot of trees, so it is kind of, it might be easy to hide something small. So as far as I know, there's no, like, Easter egg related to the third urban legend, but uh, maybe someone smarter than me found it. Oh. Okay, wait. I don't know if this is an Easter egg, but this is kind of weird. Uh, this is a tree I just found. Like different from all the other ones and you can it's not solid that's that's bizarre <laughs> i don't know if it's exactly related to the the urban legend but it is kind of weird all right for for the sake of science i'm gonna no clip real quick and just go up here um right yeah it just seems like a normal tree i don't really see anything weird about it all right that's kind of weird Okay, actually, I forgot. There's one more, one more thing that I that I wanted to show off. We're inside the basement once again. Now, opposite to the underground tunnel where you can come in, uh, you go over here, and there's this place where you can go down, and it looks like there's another similar tunnel, but it's blocked off. I spent forever trying to see if there's a way into here, uh, and I couldn't find it. But I really wanted to see what was inside, so I finally just gave up and uh, I no clipped in. And, uh, oh, there we go. Go down here, you find a normal door. Very weird. Open it up. <laughs> so, this is a, a total, like, bonus Easter egg thing. Uh, this is totally, like, tonally different than the rest of the map, but I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, all these names. I'm assuming these are people who helped uh, the librarian in making this map. TV here. This guy was just enjoying his, his nice little TV here. It's a good way to go, I feel like. Alright, so that was Macy State Psychiatric Center. It, honestly, it's probably my favorite map that I've ever explored on Gmod. It's, it's so cool. Uh, between like the last recording I did and recording this I actually went and watched the librarians video uh, on this map and uh, It's so cool. He actually Reveals there's so many details that I either missed or like I saw but I didn't really I didn't really put together like the significance like the implications of them uh, So it's really interesting watching that video. I highly recommend it along with this map itself But Yeah, that's uh, that's the three Gmod maps. I just wanted to show you today that they're really cool. I have a lot of fun just looking at maps and just going into them on this game and looking around. It's not even really a game, <laughs> you know, it's just kind of like virtually exploring spaces. Uh, but I really, really enjoy it. Alright, that's really all I have to say. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you around.